Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can count the number of records in a query and also um, apply an if statement to that based on the result of the, of the count. Um, I've got a very simple database, it's just two tables. One table is for customers and the other table is for storing information about bookings and in that table all I'm interested in really is who made the booking and for what date. So nothing too complicated there. If we take a look at the customer table uh, just to show you how it kind of works. So customer one is Andy, customer two Bob, so forth. Andy has made um, uh, five bookings here, ID one, two, three, six, and seven. And Bob has made two, which are for four and five. What I did was I created a quick query. Um, again, nothing too fancy, but it just pulls out the information that I need to then generate a uh, form with a subform, and I use the um, form wizard to do that. If I open up the, the actual form, this is uh, the information for customer Andy. You can see the bookings are made here, there's five of them. Um, that counts the, the number of records, and a discount of 10% was applied because when a customer makes five bookings or more, they get 10% discount on um, the future bookings. If I go to customer number two, this person has only made two bookings and they don't get a discount because they haven't reached that magic number of five yet. If we take a look at how it all works, um, let's go to the design view. Okay, so what I did was um, inside the subform, I made uh, in the form footer of the subform, I made two uh, text boxes. One of them I called uh, my count and the control source is just equal to count and inside brackets a star. Basically that counts the number of records that are in this detail section of the subform. Um, so yeah, count star. I then made another one and I called that discount applied. And if we take a look at the actual formula for this, I basically said equals if my count is greater than or equal to five, if it is greater or equal to five, then it's equal to 0 0.1 otherwise it's equal to zero. And that's basically saying if the result of count is five or more, then put in the cell or put in this text box the result equal to 0 0.1. If it's not equal to five or more, then just put zero. I then change the formatting to say percent. Uh, we'll just view it again just to show you how it's working. So customer one, five bookings. Because they hit five, it's gone to 10%. If we go to customer two, it counts to two and has a discount applied of nothing because they haven't reached five yet. And that's it, nice and short and sweet.